Uh, well, the compiler is uh, fairly clever and um, it only passes um, any final variables that are needed to the um, immediately enclosing classes. It doesn't pass them any further uh, because when you look at it, it doesn't actually need to. And uh, this is how it deals with that. Um, here's the example here. Uh, inside here we've got this uh, method from there to there. And uh, um, a uh, local class inside that method, which uh, has inside of it a method run here, which um, inside of which is a another local class which uses i. And i, if you come all the way back out here, is a is a uh, final local variable. Well, parameter, which is effectively a local variable. Now, um, what happens when you compile this? is that uh, you get uh, well, this sort of code basically. First of all, E is fairly simple. It's uh, just uh, that and uh, the creation of uh, uh, this uh, um, creation of this uh, class here and calling run. As you can see, this class CA is, uh, is instantiated uh, inside this uh, method EX. Now, if you look at this class CA, um, CA um, is going to require I to be supplied to it because there's a, a, a class which is uh, uh, further down which requires I, so it it's, uh, has to be pulled in at that point, and uh, that's what this uh, constructor does. Just saves that and calls super, which is it's going to be object in this case, and um, the method run inside CA um, calls the class uh, instantiates the class further down and calls test. So you can see CA instantiates CB and calls test, and um, you'll see that the instantiation here doesn't require that parameter i to be passed. The compiler is uh, reasonably clever at that point, and if you look at CB. You see, we're going to have to save the um, uh, save this dollar one, the instance of the enclosing class, like that. And uh, this method test down here uh, is going to use z plus equals i. And z, of course, we've got to climb up the tree of nested classes to get it z, like that. Equals, and then uh, to get at i, we just need to go to the Enclosing class and pull it out from val dollar i, and uh, that's how it does it, and that's what it does. Um, oh, but by, by the way, I mean I'm I'm trying to imitate as close as I can a piece of Java code here. Now, obviously, as I've already said, um, you can't actually write this because um, uh, you can't put code in front of super, but the Java compiler can do that though. Uh, that's effectively what it does. Um, obviously, of course, um, in the case of instance methods, there's a uh, the instance is is passed into um, is is passed into the method as a as a parameter. But I haven't included that anywhere, of course, because I'm trying to make it look like Java code. Uh, this example here illustrates. Um, uh, local variables and um, hiding and things like that for local classes. And uh, what we got here is, uh, see this uh, class f, and uh, inside it is uh, this method ex, and um, inside here is this local class g, like that, which um, extends out dot in, and out dot in is just uh, this class here, and. Uh, thing to look at is this um, i, j, and k, if you look. Uh, i is there, k is there, no, sorry, j is there, that's better. i is there, and uh, k is there. Okay. Right, so to construct this, um, this class uh, g, uh, you can't just do super. And you can't use the default constructor because the default constructor would basically just put super in it. And uh, what it would try and do is to 
find um, and go up the class hierarchy searching for uh, an enclosing um, uh, instance which was of um, which was of, of type uh, which uh, which could, could contain out dot in and of course it won't find any so it would give an error so what you have to do is um, construct uh, uh, an instance of out which you do there and uh, do out dot super of course because that means that out would be passed into super as a parameter to be used as the enclosing class of in that gets constructed okay well, we've already sort of talked about that but um, now let's have a look at these parameters um, i here is final so it's available and um, uh, a couple of points to note is that um, we've got j here now if that was an i instead if that was i instead of j then the effect of that would be to hide the local um, the local i in ex so you wouldn't be able to see that if that was if that was um, i but what's more you wouldn't be able to get at it either because um, you can't use this or anything like that to get it right because it's a local parameter it's, I mean this would only give you access to stuff that was in G and it's not in G you can't uh, go up to the enclosing class because uh, that would only give you Z so um, if this was I in fact you wouldn't be able to get it uh, that I there Another thing to note is that k, of course, is uh, not accessible here at this point because it is um, it's not in the um, it's not in the um, out uh, dot in hierarchy as well. So it's, it's not in there, and uh, if it's not in there, it would search the immediately enclosing class, which is f, and it's not in there either or any superclass of that. So of course, k is not accessible at this point. You can't put uh, k in there. Uh, which of course is perfectly accessible, it's a, a superclass of uh, G, so you can certainly get it that. Okay, just to illustrate what happens when you do the compilation of this, um, it turns into this, we, it, nothing too surprising here really. Um, Z, uh, final int is passed in there, and uh, F just constructed for S, so F is, I mean, it doesn't really do anything, so that's what you expect. Um, f dollar one g extends out. Okay, now <coughs> the constructor for this, of course, is going to take the is going to need an enclosing instance of f, so that has to go in there, and uh, it's also going to need that um, uh, that int, which is that final local there, and uh, obviously those are stored, and the call to super now effectively becomes that in effect and that's because the um, class out dollar in is um, has been turned into um, has been turned into this and uh, the constructor for that requires an instance of out to be passed in and that's what happens there okay so that just does that as you might expect um, it's pretty pretty much standard stuff and uh, out is well, that's pretty standard as well. Do a great deal. So uh, hopefully you should be able to work that out. It's it's uh, it's pretty much just exactly what you'd expect, really.